What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So the run of where we left off, we have another British rebel army to destroy. So let's take them out. The main reason why I'm, why I'm actually fighting it rather than auto-resolving it is because I kind of want to. Uh, these, usually in games like this, when uh, there are rebels, um, engage them myself. And my my, these guys are going to have a torrid time. Although, so this hill is quite tempting. But the trick is when you're deploying like this, is to make sure you're not deploying somewhere where the guys you want to shoot are below the horizon of the ridge. And that looks pretty good. Take one block of infantry to advance on the right. One block, block of infantry to advance on the left. The big battery of howitzers. Foreign carcass shot ready. Cavalry plus my general to chase them on the flanks. Need to replace this mouse. So now I'm pushing up very aggressively. Come on. Stop being grouped. There we go. Okay, you Dragoons work on that unit. Of, actually, all of you work on that unit of Dragoons. All my howitzers work on that unit of Dragoons. the opportunity to open fire. Okay, let's pick a new target. So I'm aware that my cavalry were about to get hit. No. Get everyone out of square. Push up aggressively. Field artillery, engage whomever you like. Can you chase the actual Brunswick Brunswicker Dragoons as they have dismounted? As it is, uh, they are getting shot to pieces, which is exactly what we want to see, because they are rebel scum. Ah, the dragoons came back. So we're charging uphill. Well, we don't really like cavalry, so it's not good. Send my infantry to help out and send my cavalry smack bang into this big block of men probably means halt fire all my artillery while my cavalry has a grand old time with these marines elite infantry pikemen key target is the marines no, there, that cavalry broke a bit quick. Good lads, the Swiss Pikes, Swiss Guard, Marines. Such a big block of elite infantry just getting mown down by French colonial cavalry. 
in the forests that they would call home. Hey! Fusiliers. Everyone aim at them. And then let's get my line infantry to uh, organise to go look the right direction. Just while my cavalry focuses on the job of killing as many men as they possibly can. Fairly sure they won't last. Nope. <laughs> We're going to continue. Kill those Swiss pikemen. Kill those marines. You come up here and kill those marines. You men decimate these last remnants of, remnants of Swiss pikes. There we go. Let's mow down the last of these marines. Come on, there's only one marine. There we go, got him. So that's raised from England, slaughtered to a man. Nearly. Make ready. So they are gonna get to do some annoying ra um, raiding. Because not even our cavalry has the ability to proceed that quickly. It's those two units of two units of infantry that left the battlefield very, very quickly. Okay, let's hop down to here. So we will have to fight you. Probably take you fellas down here to try and intercept these ships and combine them into the greater Louisiana Navy. I want to keep this lane open for reinforcements from Ceylon. So let's take him out. Um, I allowed my uh, forces to just attack the Indian states as they were, but really it would be worthwhile to free up my free up my main port, my current main port in India while also helping assure my own naval dominance of the region. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back um, when something interesting happens and when we join forces or when we start firing our first shots. I have to say, these flags and standards look pretty cool from these big Louisiana ships. Um, but yeah, see you guys in a second. And we're back, and the first shots have been fired. Mosquito and Belial or Belil are firing into the stern of Kasamri, which is the Mughal first rate ship. So it's pretty much just stop our formation. You guys keep sailing onwards. Let's allow our heavies to just do work against these ships at long range because we do outnumber them. I might actually bring. No, I was about to bring the second rate to bear, but I don't think I'll need to. Because the first rate is our main focus. Of the firepower of all of our ships, but I do want my main, my other formations to uh, not dilly dally. So they're at the extreme end of our range, but it is this first first rate is our going to be our focus. You are on fire, so stop what you're doing and put the fire out. Fire is out. Good job I fired the wrong broadside by accident. Okay, 
slowly get these guys to shift to shuffle along probably get you back into the mix you ships probably go come around the rear right now the forces we've got are more than enough to uh, shoot the bejesus out of this first straight ship of the line and there's not a huge amount they can do about it the morale is strong but the strength of the capabilities of a ship are, are failing. They are on fire. Quite badly on fire, actually. They need to respond to that quickly, lest they explode. The rear mast is gone. I thought the main mast was going for a moment there. They're getting hits onto the other ships, but the damage is fairly minimal. Uh, the Moogle first rate may end up exploding. Which would not be ideal, if because would, I would like to capture it. It appears they are not attempting to uh, put the fire out. So, mosquitoes and fire will continue. If they don't do something quickly, then uh, they're in for a world of hurt. Mosquitoes still firing. A caster's now started their broadside. We're blowing up mighty holes into the side of the ship. Foremast is gone. Oh no, the, the, the... Oh, I don't know what the hell you call that. <laughs> Castle is gone. Ah, she is sinking. She's listing heavily. Starting to get some hits into this fifth rate into the rear because she is sat behind this first rate and so is taking some of the misses. Yeah, going down by the head. Titanic style. I start to get some quite good hits to kill the crew actually from here now. Some mighty white stripes. You're just lucky these ships aren't getting involved. Although you should be. You defiant definitely will. So let's say you're the captain of this ship. As firing shells back. See men running about the ship. The ship. It's too much. But then defiant. Their bowels pivot around. You come within range of a brother broadside. There we go. The ship has sunk. Now it is Piali Osman that is the focus of our fire and they are sailing right at us. So let's pivot some of our ships a little bit just to make sure they maintain their fire. You probably go along to about here. The Admiral's been killed. It's presumably from the sinking of the Kazamurai, Kazamuris. Oh, fifth rates lost their foremast. Piali Osman is taking many, many shots through her mast, or through her sails, due to sailing at full sail into the maelstrom. Caster. Ooh, 
first actual returned fire from Piali Osman. So I want the caster ready to blast some chain shot into the sails. Let's turn resistance around to keep engaging the fifth rate. Atalanta is going to start to get some fire from the back of backside of the Acasta. She's lost one crewman. Probably better off just pummeling round shot in. If she's not going to get closer. Ah, too late. She just. She unfurled her sails. Job is to engage the fifth rate. Okay, let's speed up time on this somewhat um, because the second rate is not doing so well either. Now you have changed actually. Let's try and dismast this fifth rate a bit more. Fifth rate surrendered. Broads are coming in from Glatton. Now into the Carronade Frigate. Chain shot from Defiant into the masts of Piali Osman. Foremast is gone. She is routing. And let's speed up time because this Carronade Frigate is not doing so hot. Piali Osman lost another sail. Surrendered. Good stuff. So sadly we did first rate ship of the line, so we will not take that. However, we will take the second rate ship of the line into our service. The other two will be scuttled. Yes, my lord. And we will make repairs in Ceylon. And let's keep the recruitment going here. So we do have we are gonna have to fight a battle here against these guys soon. Um, but I think chiefly this chap needs to engage Ghazi Uddin Shafi. So you guys have been replenished, you want to recruit yes, a bunch of troops. But we have to engage them because there's another army coming in from the north. So we can't afford to uh, let them gather in strength. We must engage them on every front. In order to not allow them to overwhelm us. Cavalry and their um, melee infantry, although this time we do have a lot of cavalry. Too much, one could say. Because we have our militia, <laughs> some uh, mercenaries in the centre. Two of our artillery teams going to be sat out on the flank again. Then they're going to be backed up each by two infantry and a marine unit on the right out on the edges, on the flanks of our position. Then we do have howitzers back to provide some critical fire support. And then we have quite large cavalry brigades on each flank. Six units of cavalry. Not something I do very often. General in the centre. Howitzers. You're a bit limited on what you can actually engage. But you can hit those camels, which is lovely. Parker shot inbound. A few camels down. This artillery unit start to hit the Kizabashi musketeers on that flank. It's just lots of levy. 
Pull McCavery back away from the Cabal Gunners. You guys need to make ready. Who are you? Bowman, Kizabashi, Musketeers. You guys should probably route. Yeah. Pull these cavalry out of the way. This left hand unit of artillery hit the camel gunners. Those nomads are done for. Let's just get my cuirassiers in to respond to the horsemen. Ah, they've routed anyway. Let's let them get their little offensive. Get their little offensive actions out of their system. You get behind the camels. Yeah, they're shattered, so they're done for. How it's a uh, open fire on some of their more established musketeer units. So you hit the dervishes, you hit the Kizilbashi here. To be honest, you guys smash straight into Tufangi, get our uh, get some easy kills on our cavalry on that flank. Switch you guys to cast shot and begin opening up. I do see them getting towards our cavalry on this flank. In that case, I say, have at it. Curassiers go straight in. Light cavalry go around the flank. The bowmen are going to fall fairly quickly. You guys should get a blast of cast shot in your face. Yeah, there we go. Another light cavalry. Too bad they did make it to our lines. But they've routed gunners. Don't abandon your guns. Oh, Zemendari Pikeman, no siree. Away we go. The light cavalry come down here, the bowmen, the cuirassiers get out of the way. On the other flank, you guys go hit the 12 pounder foot artillery. Actually, you guys might hit those bowmen. Okay, let's start to fold in. Fold in our flanks a bit. So you hit the bowmen. If you can make the musketeers route, that would be perfect.
fact, I'd like to get... Good, that is their unit's routing. The wild one's about to join them. Our cavalry is about to join them. So the idea would be to run our marines up to begin peppering the camels with musket fire. You guys are bogged down way too much, but it's too late to move you now. Let's get one of our artillery pieces to start plinking at the general's bodyguard. Get all my marines to start to fight fire into the backs of these camels. Okay, let's bring these guys back to cut, to cut down the pikemen. You guys now fire round shot. Too bad about the quick the uh, carcass shot causing a bit of friendly fire. You guys also hit the general's bodyguard. Get the foot artillery. Light cavalry routed, probably from either artillery fire or our own musket fire. So my cuirassiers hit the levee, and they'll be backed up by a unit of marines. That should be enough to quell their ardour. Recovery. Yeah, there we go. Actually did come back. You hit the two fangy, get the colonial light against the Zimadari horsemen. A lot of my weak unit of cavalry, weakest units of cavalry, have been sat here. Okay, you guys switch to round shot and start to engage these units up on the hill. You continue to chase down the pikemen. You guys start to march up on the flank of these musketeers. You guys mar start to march up ahead of them to uh, force them to reevaluate their position. And you guys start to push the left of these Kizilbashi Skatia lines. Come on, start. Oh, hello. Look at them. Oof, those cuirassiers, they've got shot to bits. Those cuirassiers don't really need to spend their time chasing down uh, artillerymen, but they are... Aha! There we go. So these men have abandoned their formations in order to attack my cavalry. Begin to drop round shot on them from my howitzers. There you go. You should put a fire in the backs of these musketeers.
So you charge up like that to force them to abandon their position. Change artillery targets to the 23rd. There we go. They weren't going to stay there for very long. Same with these guys. My marines are firing. Um, right behind them. Sure, uh, this unit of light horses here ready to intercept the 27th. Everyone else, I think, I'm pretty sure, is uh, is gone. So they're going to sit there, thinking they can hold out, but they can be fired upon from so many directions. So speed up time. Yeah, there they go. We're going to continue battle and let them get shot for now. Chase them down, but let's stop the artillery fire. I'm pretty sure that was artillery fire that uh, caused th that cavalry to retreat. Unfortunate, but there we are. Are you near anyone? No one worth killing. That's our cavalry running away over there. Probably a cavalryman. Oh, there they go. But that was a good victory for us. Pushed them back, unfortunately, towards the our other army, um, which is <laughs> still isolated because they've got that's a partial fragment, that's a weakened fragment. There's a couple of guys coming up from the coast that might cause some problems. Um, but for now. How's London looking vis-a-vis -vis rebellion? Still quite high. It's going to get worse because of clamour for reform. Oh no, it's because we've not actually killed the uh, rebel army yet. When we kill them, um, that should make it better. Yeah, the Royal Navy really just does, does not want to leave us alone. Understandable. Yeah, I, I mainly do want to focus on India, but I am going to still do want to the Swedish while having a foot in the door uh, when it comes to controlling the Baltic. I would like the Austrians to continue their war against Spain, but I doubt they're going to uh, comply. Uh. Do I want to intercept them? Probably not. But, speaking of reminding of things, that does mean I can get a fleet back out from the trade zone. I can get... Uh, oh, don't make it, don't make it, good. Right, okay, so based on this AI's behaviour, oh actually I'm going to defend that, because I don't know who's reinforcing you, but they're going to get shot to bits, because I'm being attacked by this guy, and you, my, I don't know who is reinforcing me, it must be someone down here that I can't see, because the garrison doesn't, we actually fight in the city and i realized i definitely should have ended there but looks like i'm not gonna and you guys are gonna get another battle <laughs> so normally i record you know 40 and 41 but this time i just recorded 40 and then today i've just started 41 so i'm still full of beans okay so let's get let's roll two guns 
up onto the hill here. Probably want to drop another pair back here, whose job it will be just to lob shells over our lines. Drop in our howitzers. Make another big unit of line. And then we've got two units to respond to wherever reinforcements may come from, plus a bit of cavalry support. And obviously they've come in. They come in right behind us. Well, not right behind, right behind us. But God, this is screwed up. I don't know what the hell's going on with this. Put you guys in like so. You, you, and you. Uh, position yourselves. Ready to respond. At enemies over there. So our howitzers focus on their key troops. Our guns to the rear. Actually, you guys. Oh, you're already running. Good. Let's murder the cav unit. You're okay. You units unlimber. Definitely retargeted you. Yeah, you're shooting at the right people. Well, you should be shooting at them. You should be shooting at them. Our main artillery battery should be continuing to engage them as normal. Four units of infantry back here. To engage some mercenaries. Kizilbashi, a couple of units of guns. And a unit of Tufangi. Bowmen aren't uh, are not going to last. So these two rear units of guns, you go for the ones higher up on the hill. And these two units go for those units. So here comes their general. He's going to wander into musket fire range. No damage. Obviously it's muskets at maximum range. Oh, there we go, we got one elephant. There we go, now we're starting to thin him out, thin him out somewhat. All aim at this unit of Kilobashi running right down the barrel of our guns. Again, all our artillery, just focus on this main force here. These guys... Ooh, that's a... So when they route, they take... So they take... They almost instantly die. Yeesh. Another bunch of levy have been killed. Hindu warriors probably wouldn't deal with that too much. Let's bring our cuirassiers up to respond to the Zamandari horsemen. I assume they're going to start getting fired upon at will. go, my cuirassiers will deal with them. So they're starting to counter battery us by hitting our light cavalry. These two infantry units can form up on our new right flank. These guns can unlimber. Uh, these men can 
form a second line of defence over here. Because just a, against a levy unit, uh, we don't need all those. We don't need all those infantry. Let's reposition our guns up on this ridge. As we are, as we embroil ourselves in the start of a more traditional musketry line war. And as such, let's start to retarget some of our artillery efforts. I mean, if you want to fight my musketeers, then my cavalry, then sure. How about it? My, my musketeers will get involved as well. Go. So these guns unlimber, fire round shot at will. There we go, my line infantry have hit the levee and that shattered them. Kizilbashi on the right flank have broken. So we're now just a bunch of irregulars in the centre that is not going to stand up to our musketry. You can't stand against the 81st. There's lots of de death animation noises I can hear though. never know why the cavalry does this weird sort of ballet dance. Hey, you are charged by camel gunners. Let's push some of these guys up. In case they fancy getting involved in some... Uh, In case the fans get involved in some combat fisticuffs. Kizilbashi want to, the Richman Etranger are involved. You've done enough. You men just bang it charge through their line. Now they're just levy, so they will just die hard. The artillery is continuing, continuing to pound their guns towards the rear. All of our artillery to focus on this union of Kizilbashi Musketeers back here that's still in good nick. You hit them. Let the artillery deal with those guys. As well as my general on this unit of infantry when time allows. Set that unit of line infantry to start to run after the guns. General's bodyguard chased on that unit of musketeers. Nope. You guys get involved in the combat. All of you 
guard mode off and keep attacking. Uh, let's stop all this artillery firing. And then these chaps in here should uh, die a fairly glorious death because they are entirely surrounded by Louisiana troops. So when they do break, it will be a fairly major endeavour. And many men will die. My infantry over here by the guns, yeah. yeah. Surprising, really, these fellows have held on for as long as they have. But as they run through these units, they'll take so much damage. They've been cut down to 72, 65. You chase down those musketeers. We are going to continue just in case... Bring our cuirassiers over to take out those last three Hindu musketeers. Oh, there's a unit all the way over there. Which will send someone to chase. Oh, okay. Is it shenanigans? That's why you can't kill that gun crew. You guys need to turn around and present and execute the the uh, packmaster uh, gang. There we go. We've lost nine hundred men, which is a lot. But they lost three and a half thousand. That's them plus an army to the south. Yes, it was that reinforcing stack. Yeah, we may need. Oh, they're going to try and. Yeah, they've raided Bengal. So there is an enduring need still to uh, get naval superiority. And rather than spoil all the treats you get from starting an episode. Now, um, what I might do is... Well, I was... Uh, see, I was thinking I was going to record another episode of this, but I'm not going to. Actually. I'm going to go hop record the Italian states. So let's go. You kill them, and then you do damage to everyone. Yeah, we lost a thousand men attacking... Auto resolving that battle. But just to get rid of them. Down to minus four. That's not bad. Your Majesty. See, these guys are damaged and they haven't even got to the army yet. Forward. Forward. Uh, ooh, okay. You can have one unit of guards. Uh, let's hop over to India. So, what have you got? Nothing really. You're not really anything either. Ready for order. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So again, similar to last time, merge our smaller useless units into bigger units. So we can then go right. You're a weak Ready unit. Uh, you two are weak units. You're a weak unit. Ready and waiting for, sir. So this will result in unbalanced units, but in, in general, I think it's probably the right call. Get some sepoys. Ooh, horse guard, ho horse artillery. That's interesting. Yeah, okay, you can recruit top tier howitzers. Yeah, there you are. Garsman, Native Indian Cavalry, East India Company Cavalry. No camels, that's a shame. Um, Maison de Roy. 
They're pretty neat. Um, actually, let's get a brace of those recruited as well. Let's let you guys recruit a bit more stuff. And then we'll ship you up to fight a naval battle. Like I said, you're looking a bit dicey. So they have one down here. But I think I need to send them north just to concentrate their forces a bit more. Like you want to go that way to protect the east side of this river. Uh, let's get... Yes. This weakened unit of reinforcements to go into Calcutta to hold it. Keep it repaired. Still got the school being built. New port emerges in Guatemala, so trading port it is, as well as recruiting a sloop to occupy it. Let's upgrade some of these ports with the big expensive docks. Um, because we've got money coming out of our ears. So, now is the time to upgrade docks to the big, expensive global trading company. It's a serious financial investment, but they are top tier economic producers. Five trade routes, plus seven per turn to town wealth, plus 750 to region wealth, plus a lot of unit recruitment. It's a, it's a yeah, it's a worthwhile investment, especially when you're like me, and you've got a couple of turns of built up wealth that you're not spending. There we go. I've upgraded all my ports, and we've still got 20 grand. Repair the port there. Good. To hop over to India. And I probably need to send you, if you can leave the city, which you can just Sir. go intercept this army here to uh, to destroy them. But looking at the timer, I believe it's well, it's definitely time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time uh, for some more struggles in India. Cheers, everyone.